Life on plantations was very difficult for slaves of all ages. They had to work long hours, and if they refused to work on their work, or their work was not satisfactory, they were given very harsh punishments. Sometimes, if they did not do their job, or they did not um, work hard enough, uh, they would be whipped or even caned. Uh, if you slacked on the job, you would have your ear, ear nailed to a pot. The families were separated when they arrived in the new uh, world, and the slaves were stripped of their um, traditional African names and all their traditions, and were forced to convert to Christianity and change their African name um, in for a Western name. Uh, they still managed to bring over their African pottery skills, which we'll see more of later, um, and they also sang songs on plantations, but the plantation owner wanted to put an end to this. Many of these songs were songs that gave hidden messages about the Underground Railroad, which was um, a way for sla that slaves were freed, illegally, of course. It was only in, in 1792 when a man named Eli Whitney um, invented the cotton gin. This made slaves' lives um, a lot easier, but they were still brutal and full of punishment. What the machine did was it took the frustration of separating the seed um, from the cotton plant, um, meaning that uh, the meaning that the slaves could get much more done in less time, and hopefully this would avoid less mistreatment of the slaves. More, sorry, this would this would lead to less mistreatment. Um, the slaves were often so badly treated um, on the plantation that they tried to kill themselves by purposely running away and thus facing the death penalty or starving themselves. Many died on the way there um, from mucus and blood infested. Um, decks on the ship. Um, Oluda um, Equiano uh, was a former slave. Um, he told um, true horrors of how the um, how the slave um, trade decimated their culture and split their families in half. Um, but up there, you could see some um, nice African pottery that. They made, um, and then brought that, and they sang songs about the Underground Railroad. Often, some experience he had, um, he would share with the world, and he reported it as being treated like an animal, and not being treated like he was human. An animal, like they were about to slaughter him, um, or something like that. They were malnourished, they were... Um, they had, they didn't have clean water that caused to, that, um, that led to a lot of other diseases. So basically they were dying as they got there because the boat ride was even more painful. So, um, anyways, that's plantation life for you. It was really, really sick and really, really disgusting.